Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you a very simple um, very simple tip or a, a trick. Okay, so um, oh, it's not a trick, it's just a, a tool. So this is a tool so we can use so when we want to um, change the line weight or line style um, uh, of any model and so line work so how do we use it I'll show you so if I I'll just quickly draw some wall okay so and also maybe a roof on top of it okay so now uh, oh sorry let me just attach to the top okay so this is a uh, wall and roof this is uh, some wall and roof and also um, maybe let's go to elevation so okay so this is the uh, elevation view so let me just uh, oh, so it's already so um, line work thin, thin line okay. it's okay just or I'll buy more okay yeah okay Sorry about that. Um, okay, so this is an elevation, and as you know, the default line weight of uh, roof and wall um, are one. So if you go to manage ob object style, so if I go to wall, so you will see this projection line weight is one. Okay, so it's very thin. And also, if I go to roof, same one. Um, so sometimes we, we need to uh, do some adjustment to, uh, to the line weight so we can um, read the elevation better. So what you can do, so one of the options, so of course you can do detail lines, DL, detail lines to show some Y lines around it, so right. And the other option is you can just do um, use line weight, line work. Sorry, line what L W L W. And with this one, you can just choose a line style here. So line style. If there's no, um, you can add a line style, uh, any line style if you wanted to. So. Okay, so for example, if I choose Y, Y, and then pick this line, and it will become this line. It's not a line; it's it's actually the edge of the roof. Okay, so you can just pick line, so something like this, right? However, you need to do just to pick multiple lines and to uh, make it work. But okay, so. Today, uh, the more important thing today is you can. I'm going to show you. You can. Um, let me let me think. You can actually. You can adjust this line. Not only you can just pick a line. You can also adjust this line. So um, I'm going to draw a curtain wall. Okay. So. I'll just do a curtain wall here, so something like this. And some I like to use curtain wall because sometimes I just don't have the time to, you know, to find a correct uh, windows or doors. I like to just use curtain wall. But sometimes um, you need to uh, also cheat a little bit. So, so for example, uh, if I I wanted to, so for this one, so. Because in curtain wall you won't be able to, you know, uh, get rid of this line. So it's always either so vertical mullion or horizontal mullion, right? You will always see this line here. So which is actually two lines overlapping. So one is so for example in this situation this is one horizontal uh, edge of this mullion and also the horizontal mullion of this one. 
So in, uh, if we want to sort of hide this, which means we need to hide two, two lines. One is this, and the other one is part of this. So we can use line work to do it. So OK, so just uh, what we need to do is just go click on this one. First, try to pick this so you will see this blue color. So first, click this one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Change this to invisible lines. OK, first, and then click on this. So this will hide this line on this Boolean. But we still see this one because we, 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 we are still seeing um, this one. The, this line. So now what we need to do is we need to click on this edge. But if you once you click this edge, you will hide the whole length of this. So what we need to do is so see this little dot, blue dot here, and the blue dot here. So this is telling us uh, we uh, we change the line style of this line between this dot and this dot. So if we drag this dot back to here. So which means we only change this line style to invisible lines between these two dots. So if I select this, select this one and HR isolate, oh sorry, this will isolate the whole um, curtain wall so we won't see the modeling. So that's fine. So we can do this, select this curtain wall. And let me just select this curtain wall together with this modeling tab and select control select and if I isolate um, HI oh sorry not HI I see HI uh, anyway so um, okay so let me just HH this one okay so HH this one HH this one so now you will see this is the Molian and oh what's going on uh, Weird. But anyway, so this one, so so we need to um, use line work twice. So I'll show you. Um, so this one. So okay. So what we need to do is we need to line work in the visible line. First, pick this on this this volume. So tab. So this one, and then again you need to pick this line. But it will be a full length from here to here. So pick this one and see this dot and this dot. Drag this back to here. So now we, that's it. OK. So um, yeah, so, so, so let's quickly do the other two. So, so still line work, invisible line. Tab, pick this one, hide it. And another one, so this full length so we just need to move that move here back top back to here so this will this will change the line um, style of this line between these two dots to invisible line which means we will hide this line okay but in the model so and you just uh, be uh, careful because this will not change the model at all so it will only change the view in this view only in this view so it's just like a, a override graphic in views okay so in the model it's still there you will still see the line there okay the line there it's not changing any of the um the model okay so let's go back here so and also another things is um, you can also do multiple line work on one edge. So for example, so let's go back to here. So here, um, what you can do is, so for example, you can just use line work. So to change it to, uh, for example, a wide, wide line. Okay, so this is one, one, uh, um, one step. Okay, so let's finish this. Escape. Okay, so now finished. And then you can just do another time. So this time I'm going to change this to. Um, oh, hang on. Still white, still white line. Yep. Yeah. But this time I want to pick this again. 
drag it down. So, oh, uh, hang on. Um, something's not right. Why we still see that line? Okay, so let's start again. So maybe let's just do a wall. Okay, so I'm going to um, delete this wall. So only one wall. Okay, so let's go to back to the elevation. So now let's try. So line work. Okay, so line work. So first, what I want to do is I'll change this line to a wide line, and then we can we can um, okay so escape okay so finished okay so this is a wide line and then I want to um, hide part of the line so here okay and maybe part of the line here so let's do it so this time I'm going to do line work again change this to invisible line and then I'm going to pick this line and drag this down to here so you will see between this line between these two dots the, uh, is invisible now but the rest uh, is still the wide line so previous the so previous um, setting after we uh, uh, after we use the line work okay so now we can escape cancel this let's to another one so this time I'm going to even change so you can change to different line uh, style so for example a dash line I wanted to change this to become a dash line so pick this edge again so this time so drag this back to here drag back to here so you will see we have three different line style on one edge See dash line, and this is a wide line, solid line, invisible line. So they are all on one uh, edge. Okay, so one um, one edge of this model, uh, this wall. So you can use multiple. You can use multiple uh, line work on one edge. Okay. So yeah, but yeah, sometimes it, this will. Uh, become a little bit confusing once you use uh, too much of this but as just uh, want to show you that's the possibility if you do need to 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 have this situation so and then of course if you, once you uh, if you want if you want this to change back you just need to use line work again line work again so change change this back to by category so by category here which means change this back to normal so back to original and then you just pick this line pick this line pick this line and then that's it okay so this is now back to normal and then um yeah um that that's it so um per personally i try to not use line work because sometimes it makes your work um it's it will make it make it um a bit confusing sometimes so for example you a line that's not visible and then you to to work it out why it's visible you need to use it again so otherwise you will never know why, why it's not visible right um anyway that that's it for today so i believe a lot of you might um still confused about this tool but uh yeah just to try uh try more uh have more practice and you will you will understand it okay so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye